Today, I'm going to show you how I made this saw blade axe. This is the first of two post-apocalyptic axes I'm going to be making. And while this one fits the Mad Max aesthetic a little better, the second one I think will function far better as an actual axe. Soul blades may look cool, and they're very good at sawing, but they're not so great for the choppy chop. I started by cutting the sole blade into three sections with my angle grinder. This was handy as the sole blade was already kind of, it had slots at three equidistant positions on the blade on the edge, so that gave me my measurement straight away, it made things much easier. I'm using one third of the blade as each side of the axe head, as you can see there. The pieces I'm using to hold the blades onto the axe are, you know those clips for fence posts for holding them together on the metal fences? I found one of those on the road, so the, these two pieces are the two parts of that. Basically just drilling the holes in them that will match up with the holes in the saw blades that I'll drill. That didn't really work. I'm not I'm not good at lining up holes. I am very bad at lining up holes. I blame dyspraxia personally. But uh so I had to do a lot of straightening up. I had to widen the holes, I had to redrill the holes, I had to do so much stuff. But I, I got it together in the end. I put it together eventually. I also ruined that marker trying to shove it through a hole that it was too big for. That's not a euphemism at all. As you can see here, they didn't really fit around the back, so I had to make some adjustments to the back. With a lot of sanding. An awful lot of sanding. Just sanding for hours. Not for hours. For minutes. It actually wasn't that long, but the amount of sawdust produced was absolutely absurd and it made everything look like... You know in movies where a castle has been undisturbed for centuries and there's an inch of dust on everything? Made everything look like that. Just like that. I hope nobody's getting tired of seeing the drill stand because there's an awful lot of drill stand in this video. There's an awful lot of drill stand in this process. But yeah, I'm obviously drilling the hole in the back for the bolt that holds together the fence hippy thing that will be holding the head of the axe onto the back. Yeah! I ended up not filming all of the time that I spent correcting those holes with the Dremel and making sure everything lined up, or at least all of the holes were in the right kind of shape and rejiggered size that the rivets could go the whole way through. I didn't film that because I had no idea how long it was going to take. So, <laughs> so I just didn't film it. But um. But suffice to say, that took a while and it happened. We're skipping straight to the riveting here. And even now you can see I'm having to spend a long time lining up the rivets, making sure everything fits and looks like it's going to hold together okay. This is my first time doing a project like this. Um, I haven't really done, I haven't really done a whole lot of metal work since I was a little kid, so. I'm 29 now, so <laughs> that might give you some idea of how long it's been since I did proper metal work like this. But yeah, it was fun to do, and I'm going to be doing more. And I learned a lot, or relearned a lot, so hopefully I can apply these lessons in future. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. This is the first of my videos made with the support of patrons of Patreon. People are paying me to do this shit now. The names on screen, on the little screen on your screen, are those who donated a little bit extra. Just, 
just a smidge extra to get their names in the credits. Special thank you to them. A very special thank you. If you would like your names in the credits, or to even be read out with my voice, all you know, fancy and la di da, then maybe you might consider joining up and signing up to my Patreon and being a patron. It would really, really help me produce more and better content. Thank you.